you gonna help me with dinner? Um, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> We're gonna have ginger fried rice with chicken. Ooh. Okay. See you later. Bye. You gonna come back and help me? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. So hi everyone. To start off this ginger fried rice, I am boiling rice in some chicken broth and if you don't have pre-boiled chicken broth you can just buy your own and I didn't have any so I'm using this chicken broth right here I'm going to use a bouillon cube and this is Maggi cube you can use the chicken flavor if you want depending on what kind of meats you're using or you can even use the vegetable one I have dry thyme curry black pepper and I have minced garlic or you can use fresh garlic I also have ginger powder and my chili peppers in addition I have two eggs that I've already scrambled and then I have green peppers I have a mixture of carrots and peas half an onion and then my chicken this is liver and gizzard you can use other chicken parts or even you can use shrimp for this so the rice that I boiled, I boiled two cups of rice and you want to make sure that the water has dried somehow but you don't want the rice to be clumped together so don't use too much of the broth you want the rice to be easily separatable. In my skillet I'm going to add about two tablespoons of vegetable oil and heat that up really really well. Next you want to add your onions and make sure you saute them so that they're not too hard to chew on and um, you don't want them to be super soft and burnt so just saute them a little bit so next you will add your other vegetables to the mix and also proceed to saute them and then you saute them too make sure they mix really well I'm going to add about a teaspoon of thyme to this mix and then also a teaspoon of curry to give it some flavor. In addition, I'll be adding a little bit like half a teaspoon of black peppers and then mix it really well. Next, I'm going to take my gizzard and liver and you can see some of the sauce is still there. I actually marinated this with some um, jerk chicken flavor seasoning just to give it a little bit of a kick and I pre-cooked it before I started cooking it. That's why it has that brown color. So this is already pre-cooked. Next, I'm adding a teaspoon of chili peppers, a teaspoon of garlic, then mix it really well. So while that is cooking, I'm going to fry the egg, the two eggs that I'm going to be mixing in. Hello! Hello. <laughs> You just go back from school? Yep. Well, I'm making ginger fried rice. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna fry the egg just a bit. I thought that you were daddy. Oh. <laughs> so while you're cooking them, just make sure that the egg doesn't stick. Make sure it separates a little bit. How was your day? Okay. Did you have a nice day at work? Yeah. Smells something good. Mmm. Good. Okay, okay, everybody out of my kitchen. Too many people in the kitchen. Out. Sorry. Out of my kitchen. Too many people. <laughs> so just make sure that you fry the egg so that it's not all gooey. 
So now the next thing you want to do is you want to add in your ginger seasoning, one tablespoon of that, and then your bouillon cube. Mix it really well. Okay. Now I'm going to add the eggs to it. And then you want to separate the eggs. Make sure you separate it really well. And make sure it's, uh, it's saturated inside it. Then last, add in your rice. And that's it. So this is how you make the ginger fried rice.